hey guys welcome to class so in this video i'll be showing you the process of making this red dress so here is my lining you can see i've molded the bust area okay after sewing the padded part of your bust use your estate to mold the cup area and then because there's going to be boning in the dress i did sew the boning channels with bias bias tape then after doing that I went ahead to pin it on the body form okay so from front towards the back you pin it so after pinning then I went ahead to place the main fabric on top I've already sewn it sewn it together with the yoke but I haven't connected the shoulder of the yoke just yet because of the dripping I want to do on it so i've already sewn uh soyable bony on the main dress then turn it with the red crepe fabric as the bone casing uh you can see how beautiful it is then i went ahead to pin it firmly on top of the lining Now after pinning, it's time to drip. So I held one corner edge of my crepe fabric. I folded the uh, side inside as the selvage part. I folded it inside a little bit by one inch. Then I pinned the, uh, the edge on the shoulder. Just like you want to hold your fabric in a triangular form. That's how I, you know, was holding this fabric here. Then I went ahead to pin it on the shoulder okay after which we now start dripping so make sure that the fabric is extended towards the back so that i can cover the armhole region perfectly well so after doing that i folded the edge like i told you earlier then i took it through the bust middle of the bust then towards the under bust region So I had to hold the fabric very firmly to pin it under the bust. You can be creative as you desire. You don't have to do exactly what I did here. But I just have to show you so that whatever you want to do, you will have an idea of what to do. So I started holding the pleats little by little from that edge. So I went ahead to pick another pleat that one is coming from the apex of the other bust okay then i pinned it all the way to the side of the dress so i can get the exact you know shape i want the exact uh pleat design so after that i went ahead to pin the fabric towards the underarm points okay in order for me to be able to cover the armhole before you do that, ensure that your armhole is well straightened, no, no gaping. Okay, so I went ahead to pin it to the side as well. And I ensure that after pinning, there is still extension for seam allowance because we have to fold the edge to, you know, to stitch it permanently. So I ensure that the fabric is still extended forward by at least minimum one inch, okay? So I haven't done that now. I pin the arm all around. Use my hand to spread, you know, flatten the fabric so that there won't be any form of a uh, puff. So after doing this now, I'll go ahead and trim off the parts that I do not want. So now after pinning, okay, make sure everything is all pinned the next thing i went ahead to do is to chalk out the part where from where i want to cut the crepe fabric okay i'm gonna be creating an opening like a cut out on the waist area to reveal the bone stripes the boning uh whatever the boning stripes i made on the dress so you can see me drawing my chalk now 
okay using my chalk to draw lines so this line is what i'll follow when i'm cutting the fabric now then i went ahead to use my scissors to cut it so while cutting i ensure that i left i left about half of an inch for folding allowance i need to fold it inside i wasn't going to leave the raw edge the way it was so i went ahead to leave allowance to fold the raw edge so after that i then i started folding the raw edge of the dripped fabric so i folded it and then used my needle uh, my pin to hold it down okay i didn't hold it down to the body form because i know that i was still gonna remove it okay so i just folded the fabric underneath and pin it on the dress alone so i did the pinning up until the other side same okay make sure that if you are doing the same you are holding the fabric very firmly it should not be gaping okay so after doing this uh, i needed to trim off the armor space from the dripped fabric so i had to follow the initial armor line to do my cuts and then I didn't forget to leave allowance. So the allowance is following the one on the dress actually. So just need to show you how I do it here. So this particular side of the you know dripped fabric is going to be folded inside, okay, and and stitch. It's quite easy. The same way I will do the other side. So you just fold it and then unstitch it. That's all. You can see how beautiful it looks. Now take a look at the finished look of this dress. The dress is so beautiful. With what I have taught you in this video, you should be able to make this dress by yourself from scratch to finish. Even if you have no idea of how it was done before looking at the inside of the dress looking at the finishing the details everything you should be able to make it i mean the dress is just too too beautiful so please stay tuned to this channel until i bring another video your way i remain your one and only full package fashion teacher for me a day so see you next time and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more juicy juicy content see you some other time bye
Please like this video, subscribe and turn on notification for the next video.